Hi, welcome back to Blackjack. It's me and Athena today. Hello. Say hello. I'm going to be doing something a little different. Um, to, As you could tell from um, every video I appear in, I need to lose some freaking weight. So what I'm going to be doing... Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Is I'm going to be working on this uh, floor pedal thing. Hopefully the whole time that I'm doing this uh, reaction... Huh, get my slippers off. I'm wearing my, uh, uh, come on, Pikachu slippers. If got a hole in the bottom, huh? All right. So, uh, I, uh, I've never played Overwatch even to this day. Um, <laughs> and all I really know um, about Black Widow is when they showed us the preview. And also from the uh, Avengers movies. Oh. Well, this is not going to be good. It won't, uh... Um... Huh. My table has this block here. I guess I could... No, I guess I can't recline like that. Mm. Well, I'm going to keep tapping my feet on the floor. <laughs> How about that? i got to tap, 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 tap. Hopefully, hopefully that'll get me some muscle mass. I actually have pretty good muscles in my legs. I could leg press 400 pounds when I was in uh, high school. 25 reps, and I probably could have done more, but the teacher was like, no, that's it. And he also wouldn't let me put any more weight on it. And, Anyway, okay, Marvel versus Overwatch. Marvel is, I did a list, the most represented franchise, or, well, I guess franchise. It has multiple series within it, um, in Death Battle. They have the most wins and the most losses. <laughs> okay, Athena, let's... I don't care about... Okay. Some people are born to be heroes or villains, but many are that? thrust upon these roles with very little regard and must simply make the best of their new stressful life. <laughs> like Black Widow, the covert enemy turned ally of the Avengers. And Widowmaker, the deadly but unwitting adversary of Overwatch. Nice. And where's an iron boomstick? And it's our job to analyze their weapons, this. armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. They're not showing the, uh... Natalia Romanov, more commonly known as the anglicized Natasha Romanov, is one of the more curious members Isn't of the legendary Natalie Avengers. Yeah, the unlike most of them, she doesn't have any version? ridiculous superpowers, and she even started out as a bad guy. Oh my like goodness, many secret look at that agents, outfit. Natasha's past is a mystery. Age one account 91? claims she was raised by a soldier named Ivan Petrovich, who of course the he art is. of combat. His oh, teachings were so affluent that Natasha was kidnapped by an order of assassins known as the Hand, intending to train her as their master assassin. Luckily, Wolverine and Captain Black Widow's backstory is intentionally left as vague as possible, telling credence to her work as a spy. However, regardless of her past, she always ends up in the same place. Boy Scout rescued her, but she eventually That's put her to use working for the KGB and becoming a famous ballerina. However, awesome. the most likely story was that Petrovich admitted a young Natasha to a secret Soviet program called the Black Widow Ops. There, in the infamous Red Room, Natasha was trained to be the deadliest spy in the world. She learned all sorts of stealth, assassination, and martial arts techniques, including the newly invented Sambo style, which is basically like street fighting judo mixed with the craziest grappling moves ever. Like, nice! How does she even do that? A uh, Russian's magic. <laughs> she learned dozens of other martial arts, including karate, Muay Thai, Aikido, and Kung Fu. And she's mastered all sorts of weaponry, becoming an expert marksman. Damn, sign me up for the spider ups. Don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> yeah, of the course. Red Room was brutal. Natasha was You're brainwashed, right here, literally programmed with false memories, which included her days as a ballerina. She I was see. even forced to duel other members to the death. Crazy to think about considering how much went into each one's training, but all the more yeah. transformed her into the ultimate stone cold spy, codenamed Black Widow. 
But they're all code named Black that's Widow. What you gotta do if you wanna be a winner? When I was a kid, Mama Boomstick trained me and some friends to eat over sixty hot dogs in ten minutes. I was okay. the only one who survived. That's <laughs> wow. You should see it coming out. Well, while Natasha was plenty deadly on her own, she got one more gift from the Red Room. A super soldier serum. Because Yay. at the time, everyone and their dog was trying to make the next Captain America. But she wound up with the knockoff dollar store version. Because the Nazis hey, decided to kill the only right? person in the world who knew how to make it. Seriously, what was this guy thinking? Even still, she received some... He was thinking about his hair. Including a beyond <laughs> Olympic level <laughs> physique. Inhuman resistance to poison and disease. And slowed aging. So she gets to keep her good looks for over a century. And run up to 35 miles an hour. Yeah, that's pretty good hmm. As Usain Bolt's top foot speed is 27.8 miles per hour. Holy crap. Right, Dana? Look at this bird. Look at this bird. She couldn't get that far. Black Widow Natasha I couldn't proved her dominance definitely. over her peers, soon becoming the KGB's top operative. Taking on the most perilous of missions, it wasn't long until she found herself face to face with an adversary who proved her match. Iron Man. Interesting. Hey, when it takes a super hey, he suit needs with armor enough ammunition to wipe oh my out a goodness, whole city to stop here. you, you know you're pretty good at what you do. <laughs> to destroy Iron Man and his team of Avengers, Black Widow recruited Hawkeye and attempted to sway him to the dark side. But to her this surprise, the exact opposite happened. Yeah, turns out Hawkeye is so goddamn handsome that he literally love struck the brainwashing out of her. And so Black Widow betrayed Victory of her multiple brainwashing of the Avengers. And while keeping up with the likes of Iron Man How long and does it take her to do that? Easy feat, she held her own not just with her amazing talents, but also her plethora of gear and gadgets. Ah, oh, seriously? I don't care about your goddamn game. Uh, where does she keep them all in that bodysuit? It's like super tight. I mean, not that I'm complaining or anything, but the logistics are bad. Well, she's wearing those well, not only is her things along her waist. Normally durable oh, yeah, really. She has several gadgets hidden within her gauntlets. The Widow's Line is a retractable grappling hook that lets her swing like Spider Man. Cartridges cool. of tear gas pellets and explosives serve obvious purposes. Yeah. And then there's the Widow's Bite. What, like a spider bite? How's that supposed to be? <laughs> wow, that was pretty shocking, Wiz. Oh. <laughs> you broke your glasses, idiot. I don't know, I didn't see this going. Even without the KGB, Black Widow remains one of the okay, top... let's see. Widow's line, Widow's bite. 30,000 volts per shot. That's uh, three times more than Pikachu can manage. 20 foot range. So is it all around her, or is that just... Oh no, that would be radius. Okay, aerosol instant knockout drug. Uh, 20 plus hours knockout duration. Uh, explosives, tear gas. Uh, I am assuming those are just kind of standard stuff. Temperature and bullet resistant, not bulletproof, bullet resistant. Um, okay. A world. She's so skilled with a sniper rifle, she could cut Hawkeye's bowstring while he's in mid-shot, forcing mm -hmm. him to miss his target. Nice. To put this in perspective, the average thickness of compound bowstring is about one hundredth of an inch thick. That's as thin as a fingernail. That did not look one hundredth of an inch thick. Of feet away. She's quick enough to easily dodge point blank gunfire, skilled enough that to defeat one hundred men by herself, and strong enough to snap a guy's neck with just one kick. Pretty nice. impressive, as it takes around six hundred pounds of force to break the human neck. She's so goddamn tough. She's taking a grenade to the face from a Was enough feet to kill away, him or just paralyze him? Fine. She fell four I mean, stories, threw him out inside into a car, and she was fine. So much for that super serum being dollars. You know, I um I remember there was a case on that show, The Wire, where this guy jumped out of like a second story window and kept running, and it was uh touted as unrealistic, but it was based on something that a guy who was in the like the actual man was an actor in that scene and he had jumped out of like the fifth story window and kept running <laughs> once lifted and wheeled her wow 
three mile sniper shot, I think the record is like one and a half kilometers. So, although I imagine that would also be limited by the gun itself. Evaded Gatling gunfire, survived a helicopter explosion. Or jump, right? Well, this durability extends beyond physical toughness. Ah. After all, she doesn't exactly have bulletproof skin or anything like that. Rather, she possesses so a she staggeringly strong got, drive to uh, survive no matter what. But yeah, Electro. Like the time when she had to go through intensive surgery. What was she in there? She was still conscious. Just imagine. She felt every cut, every pull, every movement as the surgeon sliced open her stomach and sewed up her insides. Despite this... the incredible pain throughout this entire ordeal, which likely lasted several hours, for her own sake, she could not move a muscle. That has happened in real life. Like, anesthesia doesn't go all the way. Like, it just kind of temporarily paralyzes the person, but they can still feel everything. I think I'm going to throw up. Oh, that reminds me of my oh. vasectomy. Both of them. But even alongside the Avengers, Natasha maintains a although this seems to have been done completely without her path to redemption has been a rock. Huh, she can as her stun, personal quest to destroy the Red Room um, has left a trail of bodies uh, in its way. Black Panther. This is one redhead you don't want to mess with. That was just regular mace. While the stories of many world-class assassins often carry a truckload of baggage, few are quite as heartbreaking as the case of Amelie Lacroix. That's she's even shorter more than, than you think. Oh, but we'll she's 5'9". Growing up, her husband must have been really, really tall then. I was going to say, she's shorter than I thought she would be, but... Oh, hang on. Okay, good book. Good girl. Yeah, it's like a uh, crazy parrot mom. There. <laughs> I pulled up my shirt in front of the camera. <sighs> okay. Oh. Amelie never aspired or trained for combat. In fact, she devoted much of her life to becoming a world-renowned ballerina in Paris, France. That's cool. Now, I've noticed it's almost a requirement for all badass assassins to be ballerinas or something. So uh, I started working on a few moves myself. What? Wait, hold on, Doc. Amelie's husband, however, was a key figure for Overwatch, a global peacekeeping organization spearheading operations against a terrorist group called Talon. Talon oh, okay. tried over and over to kill this guy, but they just couldn't the pull it off. So the instead, city back there. Amelie. Hang on. Going back a little bit. Uh for Overwatch, blah, 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 blah. a global yada, peacekeeping yada, yada. organization okay. spearheading Talon. operations against a terrorist group called Talon. Okay. Sugarloaf Hill is much farther away from the city than that. And even if we consider uh, that the city has definitely grown in that time, one, that looks to be considerably smaller given the positioning of the water there, and two, um, <laughs> that it's still a hill. Oh, frickin' hang on. Hi, my mom wanted to see if I wanted to do anything. Anyway, that is a very strange view of reality. They tried over and over to kill this guy, but they just couldn't pull it off. So instead, they kidnapped Amelie. Damn. All right. Not cool. Thankfully, Overwatch quickly rescued her, and life returned to normal. Sort of. Or did it? Nope. Because out of nowhere, Amelie killed her hubby in his sleep. Turns out, the kidnapping wasn't just a simple ransom or attempted lure. Talon Wait, I kind of dulled her emotions. That was a pretty savage into look the of perfect anger. brainwashed sleeper agent. Right, because she was sleeping next to him in their bed, and then bam! Does she have first kill? Feet? Sleeper agent. Right, sure. She returned to Talon. That to looks like artificial psychological feet. and physiological reconfiguration process. When all was said and done, Amelie Lacroix was no more. In her place stood the cold-hearted assassin known as Widowmaker. Yeah. Ah, I get why she's called Widowmaker. Though it is kind of weird that the widow she was making was, was herself. Her. <laughs> Brilliant deduction, Boopstick. Widowmaker embodies the cold-hearted killer trope so well, it's actually literal. Talon's experiment slowed her heart rate and suppressed her emotions, turning her into an actual cold-blooded killing machine. Hence the cold blue skin. <laughs> The it's slap. not really a thing, is it? Just kind of like took him oh, for I a just loop. I figured she was the girl smurf all grown up. 
Gotta be some drama. There's actually a God. pretty easy way to turn your skin blue. You just need to drink some colloidal silver. Uh, is it safe? Yes, I've brought that guy up before. Um, people who it is okay to make fun of for their skin color. The guy who drinks silver. And people who eat too much carrots, which can turn your skin orange. And maybe if you have a mild sunburn and your friends told you... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they gave you a warning, and now they get to gently rib you. Everyone else, no. <laughs> yeah, sure, no doubt. It's 100% sure. non-toxic silver. <laughs> okay, bottoms up! Fun. <laughs> anyway, the blue makeover wasn't just a show. With her heart rate down, her body's <laughs> movements and vibrations are highly reduced. The blood pulsing through your hands can actually bump up your shot. It's not by <laughs> luck, but when you're aiming at something a thousand yards away, even a tiny bit of movement matters. This might not sound too difficult, until you consider that a typical human heart rate in a stressful situation can exceed 100 beats per minute. A perfect oh. sniper has to time their shots between almost two beats per second. So even cool, though she started nice. pretty late, Widowmaker's skip ye- Snipers are trained to keep steady their breathing and heartbeat as to keep their aim as steady as possible. By slowing Widowmaker's blood flow, performing this feat becomes exponentially easier. Awesome. Um, but wouldn't reduced blood flow mean that she can't perform all of those acrobatic feats? Or just, I mean, you'd think reduced blood flow would do some major damage and not just, I mean, well, the skin would be terrible. It would be just horrifically bad and since it's not getting to her uh okay then since it's not getting to her joints and limbs and everything maybe that's why she <laughs> looks like she has artificial feet and i say that because her ankles and yeah her ankles are so thin but i don't know if that's just the art style or what Okay. Years of killing people, school, with just this one little tweak. Talon's manifesto Look how neat she is did her that humanity hair. is made stronger through conflict. And so All Widowmaker right. was taught a variety of different combat and covert techniques to be ready for any violent possibilities. She's ridiculously athletic. Just look at her go. And she's got plenty of handy tools to help her kill people even faster. She awesome. carries a grappling hook with a 65-foot cable. Perfect for getting around any terrain in an instant. Her cool. venom mines stick to most surfaces, and after being triggered by movement, release a deadly toxin. And give her a ping in her funny-looking spider helmet. That's Widowmaker's <laughs> recon visor, basically multi-screen super goggles. They provide infrared sight that spots heat signatures through walls and transmits multiple feeds. Through then there's walls. Her signature weapon, the one, the only Widow's Kiss. It may look like an oversized SMG, but with a click of a button, it turns into a badass sniper rifle. So hang on a second. Widow's Kiss and um, what was the other one called? Black Widow's Kiss? Or Spider Kiss or something? Uh, <laughs> would it be fair to say that they're going to be kissing each other? As a sniper, this baby can fire at four different levels and of power. And not in the way that Rogue did. The charge shot hits ten times stronger than a standard one, making the Widow's Kiss what? Okay, scope mode, rate of fire, two rounds per second, four shot power levels, or shot power levels, um, submachine gun form, excuse me, Pardon me. This is why I also tout my videos as being educational. I hope you know that. You're getting educated on what it's like to have parents. Okay, rate of fire, 10 rounds per second. Hmm, huh. maximum range there. I noticed they're not giving the maximum range on the scope, on the uh, sniper rifle. Okay, grappling hook, max range 65 feet. Venom mine and infrasight. One of the deadliest rifles in the world. 
Unless you're wearing some really heavy armor, it'll kill pretty much anyone with just one shot. Wiz, build me one now. Now. Really heavy armor. Um, but said Black Widows was resistant. But not with your luck, your hand will probably get stuck in one of the moving parts, and I'll have to be the one to amputate it and build you a mechanical replacement. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. You don't know that. Do I do want to see Widowmaker is one okay, of Talon's top agents, and I do want to see that. To prove it. She's taken on Overwatch members she multiple had times, tattooed on her wrist. effortlessly defeating some of their own top. Well, I guess this is forearm. Survived a shot to the head. Okay, some people have done that. Kept pace with Tracer's blinks, as we uh, as we learned from a few years ago. That's damn near impossible. I mean, I guess you could do it, perhaps visually, but not physically. Took a hit from Doomfist Gauntlet. Shot Anna's eye through her scope. Um, would that mean like she got it sideways? Because if she got it inwards, that would be. Just, uh, Knocked a man out with one punch. I'm pretty sure that happens pretty much every day. Defeated Tracer, Tech Heart on Dada, and Anna Amari. Okay. I'm assuming those are like complete powerhouses. Like fellow sniper Anna Amari, whose cybernetic eye can see six times greater than a normal one. And she pulls this off while achieving ulterior goals, such as when she baited Tracer into unknowingly allowing her to assassinate a diplomat. That's some intense... Robot Gandhi. And she's way tougher than she looks. Her visor can protect her from a sniper shot to the face. And she even took cool. a hit from Doomfist's gauntlet. This thing can take down a skyscraper. But now when Doomfist was wearing it, and I notice it's open in the back to allow for her ponytail. So, um, hmm. Have to have some nice Paper. aim there, but, but I imagine it could be done. While it wasn't wielded by Doomfist himself yeah. at the time, it clearly struck with some serious power. An average skyscraper ranges between 250 to 300 feet tall. To topple it in one go, you'd need a force equivalent to at least two tons of TNT. You sure Talon didn't slip her some super serum in a drink or anything? Cause that's ridiculous. Also, while ranged combat what may be her forte, Widowmaker is skilled enough to take out an entire armed security force up close while avoiding their gunfire. Nice, the nice. The blue bombshell can do it all. Kinda sucks that Talon drained her whole emotion, cause now she can't appreciate how badass she is. Kinda <laughs> like how I sometimes forget I have a shotgun for a leg. And that's Until nice, but I have a girlfriend. Bento's pure fresh gum <laughs> with a burst of freshness to help you small talk. You guys chat. I mean, you may have the right growth, but it, it's not the right yeah, tree. Fuck it off. Talon's experiments may have yielded astounding results, but I'm not sure they were quite so thorough. In fact, mm -hmm. every Christmas, a certain blue-skinned woman can be found leaving a rose at her late husband's grave. So maybe, See, there's the, just me, her ankles Amelie again. isn't quite gone for good. A single death can change everything. As it did. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, the internet. I would love to sit beast. in on. Um, just think about how often one of their online networks like uh, in hotels, restaurants, airport. Planning like meetings, right you know, where they like take all of these into account, debate possible outcomes. Okay, um, it's interesting that Widowmaker can avoid these bullets even when she's not looking. It didn't say if Black Widow can do the same. Um, I know she can dodge bullets at you know incredible speed, including Gatling gun fire. Uh, Ooh, the legs are still going. Uh, but um, it didn't say if it was while well, she was looking at it or not. Uh, I mean, that would... I don't know if she would have to process each individual bullet or if she would uh, just go for where the general gun was facing. Um, she has superior abilities to snipe someone as far as distance. Um, but Widowmaker could track her down pretty easily. Oh, where is that thermal scope? Um, and as I said, uh, goodness, why did the, oh, I know why it popped up, this freaking bird. Um, the, uh, 
Her armor is bullet resistant, not bullet proof. Um, I'm te I'm hesitantly putting this on Widowmaker right now. Just uh, just putting that out there. Um, although uh, Black Widow does have superior training, uh, hmm, well, at least longer training. But like I said, I'm hesitantly putting it on Widowmaker. I think it's going to be super super close. I think it's going to depend if they end up long range or short range, too. <laughs> and squish! And squish! Oh, <laughs> I'm not squish. Brunette. Okay, who the hell is that guy and why is he not paying any attention? Okay, why is she brunette? Ooh, fight! That would have been the perfect spot for it. Blue whoop a pigeon! Not bloody likely. See? Frustration in her face. That collateral damage. Oh, the snow. It didn't look like they were going fast enough to blow up. Are they please gonna end up on that Ferris wheel? Please, please, please. Trying to escape me. No chance. I'm do voices for them. I think that'd be really cool. Abort, abort. Yes, they're on the Ferris wheel! Oh, and it's going to end up rolling down the road. Yeah, there's that thermal stuff. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Shouldn't she just be speaking in French? Or is that... I noticed that's part of what they do in the Overwatch game. Wouldn't she have heard that... Bump. What makes you think you can sneak up on me? <laughs> I'm a goddamn Avenger. Oh yeah. You could have just taken the shot while you had her on the ground. Waiting for a freaking response. Parkour! A lot of narrow misses here, and narrow hits. Ooh! And she can heal from that. See, it looks like the thing on her cheek is already healed. Leg press! Ugh! Come on, you could have attacked with your legs. Damn! Which one was the cold-hearted chick again? <laughs> Given her history, Natasha obviously brought a lot more combat experience to the battle than Widowmaker. Even still, this was far from one-sided. Widowmaker's arsenal in particular made it difficult for Natasha to outgun her in ranged combat. Except for the Venom Mine, given her enhanced immune system. But once Widowmaker was disarmed, something which seems to happen a lot, Natasha got the upper hand. Like, literally, she's way better at hand-to-hand. -hand. That 
that's a no-brainer just based on how many martial arts she knows, her super super yeah. boost, and how many people she's had to judo to death. They both could dodge bullets and were expert shots, but Widowmaker has never shown capabilities equal to Natasha breaking a neck in one strike, running 35 miles per hour, or shooting a moving bowstring. They were pretty evenly matched when it came to taking hits, though. Natasha took a grenade to the face while Widowmaker got hit by Doomfist Gauntlet. Yes, but while the gauntlet can take down a skyscraper, even in Doomfist's own hands, it certainly doesn't seem capable of doing so with only one hit. I should watch much those less in the hands of a skinny teenager. Hell, Doomfist escaped prison by punching through a concrete wall with his bare fists. Nice. I don't think Hoodie Kid's gonna pull that off. Just a hunch. Widowmaker certainly had her moments, but she just couldn't match Natasha's greater speed, precision, and decades of experience. She just couldn't find that widow of opportunity. Is blue the winner now. is Black Widow. All right, good job, Black Widow. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Death okay. Battle. If you want the battle music for yourself, you can get it by clicking the link below. Or you can <sighs> click over there and check the out one of those didn't stand videos. out to me. Okay, next time, next time. Oh, come on! Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Oh, man. Yeah, um, we're gonna talk about how Captain Marvel got her head bashed in by, uh, Android 18 last time. <laughs> okay, well, like I said, you know, I was going for Widowmaker, but I was wrong, and I'm okay with that. And, I, you know, I just don't have the experience with these characters. Um, sh uh, Widowmaker does definitely, or, tch, Black Widow. Definitely does have a longer history. Um, I really should watch the Overwatch shorts. Um, everyone says they're really good, and they're the real story to the game, because the story to the game is not in the actual game. And, yeah. Hair on my hand. What the heck? So, yeah. Um, next time, I don't know what the heck they're thinking. I mean, they're both technically Captain Marvel, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, heavens. I have a cool budgie one in it here. Looks like Lawrence. Poor little Lawrence. Uh, like I said, I'm still really sad. Well, you know, as I would be. But right now, right now is not a time for sads. Right now is a time... It just seems like a trained assassin like that wouldn't wait for her foe to answer a question. You have the gun right there. You have Natasha incapaci incapa incapacitated for several seconds. Or was that like five, ten seconds? Just shoot her right then and there. Okay? You don't have to wait around for an answer. You know, it's okay. It's okay if you don't get an answer. And also, you would think that even with Natasha standing on her, that she would still use her legs. Because, you know, you can kick your back with your legs. I mean, even I can, and I'm huge. So, <laughs> you would really think that someone as flexible as her would be able to at least knock her off balance. Possibly get her to lose her grip. Possibly. Possibly not. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I mean... They explained it pretty well, but it also seems, you know, and I know some of the stuff, you know, the animation is just for show, but it seems like the way it played out, there were several moves they could have made that I think would have been made in a real-life situation that they just didn't go for. I talked about how my CPAP is making me break out my lash. That's why I'm more red down here. And I recently just took a all stuck it under there when I have it. Anyway, yeah, in case you're wondering what that deal is there. So, uh, I guess that's about all I have to say. Um, it was well animated, not the best animation. I still think that goes, um, well, I don't know. Snake versus Sam Fisher and uh, Thanos versus Darkseid are probably my top two. Um, they're different styles, though. 
Um, I also recently found out the Thanos copter was an actual thing. Like, in the comics, he actually has a helicopter. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so I've got to go. I'm going to go plant shopping with my mom. That's what the call was about. She's going to pick me up in about 45 minutes. So, um, I mean, I better go. Um, I don't think I'm likely to be uh, targeted by assassins anytime soon. Um, but, you know, the way I piss people off on the internet, you never know. So, um, yeah, I, I just figured you would all want to be aware of that. Um, I mean, I get hate for the dumbest things. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, okay, I will see you all later. And if I suddenly end up not posting anymore, 